वेलकम टू एसिस्टी कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड कॉमर्स दिस इज एसिस्टी एडुपेडिया माय सेल्फ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर सुनील शाह टुडे आई वुड बी कवरिंग अप द टॉपिक कॉल्ड सिंक और क्लिक वेब और ब्राउज वेब कॉन्ट्रैक्ट व्हिच कम्स अंडर लीगल सिक्योरिटी एंड अदर रजिस्ट्रेशन सब्जेक्ट व्हिच इज बीन टॉट एंड एमकॉम ई-कॉमर्स सेमेस्टर 4 एंड दिस टॉपिक इज इन देयर इन यूनिट 1 coming to the part uh, that is related to shrink back agreement the students you are aware what you learned in the previous classes agreement means offer plus acceptance offer may be called as proposal it should be a valid proposal and should be valid acceptance proposal plus acceptance is equal to agreement and agreement should be supported with consideration agreement plus consideration is called as contract agreement enforceable by law would be also called as contract as defined under the indian contract act 1872 today coming out to this specific part that is called shrink wrap agreement which is new in this particular e-commerce industry coming out the main part what do you mean by the agreement which is there through internet e-contracts helps in making the agreements and the transaction electronically in the physical absence of the party suppose a person is staying in india and the other person is staying in other parts of the world or the globe then they can enter into the contract in the digital form it aims or it aims at making the law binding contracts at much faster rate with the use of latest technology current in this scenario we have the contracts through email or through the digitally signed contract or installation of that particular device or the app in the cell phone the electronic transaction today are used for variety of the purpose including recognition of the digital signature please remember digital signature is issued by the central government and the electronic records has to be kept and stored in a proper format the filing of income tax record the keeping the the sale transaction of that particular uh, the property records the gift deed or the well deed or the incorporation or the memorandum of association or the article of association or the filing of the gst returns or the filing of income tax return has to be also done digitally or taking the admission part of the students uh, filing of the admission forms would be also done digitally if the person staying in india and if he wants to take the admission in us it can be also done through digital form and that would be particular form of agreement or paying of the utility bills online would be also called as e contracts coming to the specific part that is called what is shrink wrap contract the boiler plate or license agreement or other terms and conditions which are packed with the products are called as shrink wrap contract students if you see this particular image where were some terms and condition been mentioned and here in the last part they say i agree that means this type of contract would be called as shrink wrap contract the usage of the product deems to be acceptance of the contract by the consumer so whenever once whenever the students whenever this uh, particular person or the buyer wants to use this product he has to accept that word i agree otherwise he cannot use that particular product and that type of contract would be called a shrink wrap contract the term shrink wrap describes the shrink wrap the plastic wrapping which coats the software boxes or the terms and the condition which comes with the products on delivery would be called a shrink wrap contract before the contract it should be shrink wrap agreement agreement as you are aware as i mentioned in the earlier slide that is called proposal plus acceptance is called agreement agreement supported by consideration here in this case when the buyer is buying some product online that means uh, agreement plus consideration is should be called as contract since it is not used in the uh, in written form it is in, in the digital form but in the digital form it is the agreement is by uh, accepted by the word i agree if he clicks that particular button that would be called as shrink wrap contract the shrink wrap agreement can be include following terms and conditions which are called license whenever this software or whenever we install many apps in your cell phone or in your pc or in your laptop there would be the license which has been granted that would be the term which is included in the shrink wrap contract or some fees and payment which are been made necessary by that buyer to pay by to be paid by the seller uh, the then in such cases it will be called a shrink wrap agreement some in some cases the warranties which has been mentioned by that once once you install this particular uh, app the warranty would be for so and so period that specific period would be also mentioned in that particular contract 
the otherwise it would be limitation of the liability the the seller would be himself taking out by mentioning that his liability is limited that would be called as saying wrap agreement now coming to the next part that is called click wrap contract it is found mostly by the installation process of the software package so whenever we want to install some of the programs then that would be called as click wrap contract here if you see in this particular image when you write the name you have to put this capture and then you have to abide to this rules which is mentioned in the box that is i agree accept that would be called as click wrap contract it, it is also called as click through agreement or the click wrap license it takes it or it may be called as take it or leave it that means we the buyer or the seller have no choice uh, uh, which is made to the buyer the buyer accept to accept as it is because it is accept it or leave it so the seller makes such type of contract such type of agreement he drafts in that particular format that is no other option which has been left with the uh, the buyer that he has to accept it if the customer likes the products and wants to buy wants to buy it it may avail its service he clicks it into i accept or okay and if he rejects then he cannot buy that product or avail that particular type of services click wrap agreement are of following types if you see this particular images i agree to the terms and condition which has been mentioned in that box or i accept that means he is installing that product with taking his permission that means he is abiding to the rules and regulation which has been framed by that particular seller to the buyer here if you see this particular type of image it has been mentioned in the click wrap license whenever the license is been granted if you are using any biometric device if you are using any of the installation uh, product if you are using any software they give you the license and that license period is been also mentioned that is called as click like click wrap license the type here type and click where the user must uh, type uh, accept or this specified word it has been mentioned on the screen uh, on the box and then the click a uh, button called submit button or any other similar type of button which has been mentioned in the particular type of contract this displays acceptance of the terms of the contract the user cannot proceed to download or view the target information without the following steps so, so the students what are the steps the icon clicking where the user must click on the button called ok or i agree the button on a dialog box or pop up window a user indicates rejection by clicking the cancel or closing the window so there are two choice which is available with the the user is that he has to accept or leave it if he leave it then it would be the word called i cancel the button coming to the next particular slide wherever we will be speaking of the next important topic that is called as browse wrap contract it covers the access to use of the material available on the website or downloading of the product so if you see this type of images which are always available with that particular uh, the seller that means he will accept it he will ask is that please take the necessary permission to download this catalog or download this particular type of information only if the person agrees to the terms and condition on the web page then he can access the content of the web page so students if you can remember it would be either it would be one side of the contract so whatever they mention what is been mentioned by the seller the buyer accept to accept it because he has no other choice in most of the cases the website or the browse web agreement include a statement that the user continued to use the website or download uh, date the software manifest assent to those terms manifest the assent to those terms that means he has already given his assent he has said yes to that terms and condition which is mentioned in that particular website of that particular software company what he has been eager to sell so some point of time the the buyer is not aware with the terms and condition he simply clicks into that button called i agree or i accept so uh, it is displayed on the website but the existence of such browser web agreement is hidden or not seen on the page so if you see only this few condition which has been mentioned on this particular image can be read by the buyer but cannot be that is the terms which are been mentioned by the seller some terms are hidden which cannot be seen through the naked eye you have to read it properly then only he should accept it if you want to check it the credential of that particular party who is selling this particular license product coming to the next point of this particular contract as you are aware we are using the term again and again agreement and contract so 
all the essential elements of the contract has to be fulfilled it should be offer it should be lawful offer it should be lawful acceptance the offer plus uh, acceptance is equal to agreement as you are aware agreement supported by consideration or agreement and possibility by law would be called as contract the consideration would be should be lawful then only it should be accepted and the object of the contract should be lawful if it is against the sovereignty and integrity of the india or any of the country then that type of contracts are not valid in the eyes of law of any country and the purpose of the contract should be lawful it should be for ethical purpose the capacity should, should be person for entering into the contract should be that he should be able to understand the terms and conditions of the contract he should be more than 18 years and should be of sound mind to enter into the contract coming to the case laws which are available that is trimax international fsd versus vedanta aluminia aluminia limited which is held in 2010 in this situation the supreme court decided that the contract provisions were discussed by email that could be those communication constituted by binding contract that could be enforced so whenever the proposal is sent by one of the party and the other party reads to the terms and condition which is supported in the email then it would be once it is accepted it would be called as binding contract which has been affirmed by the supreme court of india and if the contracts are unsigned and unregistered online the supreme court affirm that legality so whenever there is a communication which is through email it is not necessary that it should be supported by the sign or it should not be registered it is valid into the eyes of law as held in the case of trimix international limited versus vedanta aluminum limited the next case is infotech software dealers association versus union of india here the case was of copyright of the application that depend upon the string wrap of the software packaging was decided by the madras high court now it is called as chennai high court it has been demonstrated the how the dvd or the cds produced can be included with more than one hardware and how many times the consumption and the complex it to distribute the physical copy of the license to various places where the clients were located so in such cases also the the court affirmed that the software license has been given uh, although number of copies of license are been not distributed it has been packed individually that means the license has been given by the seller to the buyer the next important case would be alice of india limited versus consumer education research center according to the supreme court the contracting sides have unfair negotiating control the court determined that addition that means accept it or leave it contract exerts where one of the side has more jurisdiction and undue benefit over the other so the person who is selling that particular type of software has the Uh, the points which is beneficial to him not to the other parties which is in the minority part he has to accept it furthermore the supreme court ruled out that the parties to the contract do not have equitable negotiating power that means whatever this uh, is been sent by the seller the buyer has to accept it because they don't have any negotiating skill it shall strike down the unequal and unjust contract in according to the article 14 which says that a uh, right to equality here in this case right to equality is not been obeyed because the seller has the power to use his terms and condition over the buyer so which is guaranteed uh, the article 14 which guarantees the equal protection of the law to its people so in some cases if this seller misuses that particular power and he makes that particular person buyer to abide to the terms and condition in such cases the honorable court of law will interfere and will give the justice to the person who has been affected by them so concluding about what even by uh, the shrink wrap browse wrap and the click wrap agreement contract as well as we have been knowing that it has been governed by indian contract act 1872 but the e contracts have been governed by it act 2000 Section four of the Act talks about the legal recognition of the electronic records, where the law provides that the information or any of the material shall be in writing or in the typewritten or in the printed form, then notwithstanding anything contained in the law, such requirement shall be deemed to be been satisfied. So, students, we are now in this particular video. I had made you explain about the click wrap, browse wrap, and the string wrap agreement, which is there in MCOM e-commerce M four of the unit one. Thank you from my side.